Hello, hello. Welcome back to the mat, my friends, and welcome to a heart-opening morning practice. Now, of course, you can practice this class at any time of the day that works best for you, but since it is just 15 minutes, it is great for the mornings uh, when you're short on time and you know you want to get in a practice before you head off into your day. I'm going to recommend having at least one block handy for this practice. Um, Other than that, you shouldn't need any other props. If you have not joined the online tribe, click the link in the description below. Come on in and join us. You'll get each class emailed directly to you every week, as well as access to my resource library of journaling worksheets and yoga sequences. And if you would like to support the channel and the making of more videos like these, please consider joining me on Patreon. That link is also in the description below. Your monthly contributions help to produce these videos to bring them to you every week. Uh, So if you'd like to join me there, again, that link is in the description. Alrighty, go ahead and grab your block, unroll your mat, and I'm going to meet you right here in a tall seat. All right, my friend, come on into a tall seat. I'm sitting up on a block. You don't have to, um, but it can be nice to sort of elevate the hips a little bit. We'll start here, starting to bring the attention inward, sort of settling into our practice. So inviting the eyelids to close or gently lowering the gaze towards the earth if closing the eyes does not feel comfortable. Allowing the hands to rest wherever feels best. Finding a moment of stillness here. And in this moment of stillness, bringing a gentle awareness to heart center. So right at the center of the chest, Becoming aware of the space of the spiritual heart, not the physical heart. So right at the center. And maybe imagining a glow of the color of your choice emanating from this space. And considering how you can Lead with love today. Taking just a couple more breaths here. then gently opening the eyes. Go ahead and come on into a tabletop position, hands and knees. Make sure that your block or blocks are at the top of your mat where they're easy for you to grab hold of them. Uh, We'll come to that a little bit later. And your tabletop will move through some cat-cows. So as you inhale, drop the belly towards the earth, lift the heart, lift the tailbone. And as you exhale, round the spine, press the earth away, allow the chin to come in towards the chest. Inhale to arch the spine, open the heart forward. And exhale, round, puff up the back. So bring that awareness back into heart center. Inhale, shine that heart space forward. And then as you exhale, imagine that same glow emanating from the back of the heart, shining up towards the sky. Just like that, two more times. Inhale to arch. And exhale, round. And one more inhale. And then exhaling to round. And then from here, come through a neutral spine. 
Tuck the toes under, lift knees and hips. Find your downward facing dog. You can pedal out the feet here, bending one knee and then the other. And then finding a moment of stillness here in your downward facing dog. Go ahead and shift the weight forward into a plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists, navel to the spine, heels press back, gaze towards the frontage of your mat. Nice strong plank here. Go ahead and lower the knees onto the earth and then allow the entire torso to come onto the earth. We'll come into some cobra waves. So the hands are gonna come out wide in line with the shoulders. Stay up on your fingertips, so tented fingers. I like to call these cupcake hands. <laughs> so imagine you've got little cupcakes under them and you don't wanna squish them. Coming into these cobra waves. So tops of the feet pressing into the earth. You're gonna sort of lead with the back of the neck. So the shoulder blades will pull back towards each other and allow that movement to lift you up. So you will roll up, the head comes up last, shine the heart forward. And as you exhale, roll down, the head comes down last. Inhale to roll up, opening the heart, and exhale to roll down. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Alrighty, from here, bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, and then reach the fist package sort of towards the feet really actively. The feet come together, lift the feet and legs off the earth, coming into Shalambhasana, locust pose. One more breath here. And then releasing to the earth. Hands come onto the earth underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and press yourself back into downward facing dog. And then from here, start to walk the feet up to the hands. Bring the feet to hip width distance. Keep a bend in the knees. Let the torso and head hang heavy. You can shake out the head. Yes, no, maybe so. Maybe find a sway of the torso side to side. Shifting the weight on the feet, nice and easy. And then from here, bend the knees really deeply so that the torso is resting on the thighs. And then bring the hands around behind you, interlace the fingers, and then begin to straighten the legs a little or a lot as you drop crown of the head to the earth and lift the hands sort of uh, towards the front of your mat. Really pull the shoulder blades back towards each other. I'm gonna go ahead and release the hands onto the earth and step the left foot way back. Bringing the left knee onto the earth. If you'd like to bring a blanket or a towel or something, or if you'd like to fold up your mat to pad up the knee, feel free to do that. Go ahead and grab a block and bring it onto the earth next to your left hip. When you feel steady in the legs, lift the torso, lift the arms, and Janayasana. Now go ahead and take that block and switch it over to the other side. <laughs> uh, I meant the right side. Okay, so you should have the block next to your right hip in your Anjaneya. So now go ahead and bring the right hand down to that block. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, lean over towards the left side. So big side stretch. Right hand rests on the block. You can choose the height that works best for you. And imagine sending the breath all the way down the left side of the body, down into the left hip flexor, the left quadricep. On an inhale, come back to center. Bring the left palm onto the earth. Open the right arm up to the sky. Twist towards the right leg. And then bring the right hand towards the earth and lift the torso once again, Anjaneyasana. Really press into the big toe mound of the right foot. Find a sense of lift in this pose. Pubic bone to navel, firm up the lower belly. Bring the arms back behind you, interlace the fingers, and reach the fist package towards the left foot as you lift the heart 
towards the sky. Go ahead and release the hands. Bring hands onto the earth. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and then walk the hands over to the left side of your mat, bringing the feet parallel, folding over the legs, wide-legged forward fold. And bring hands under shoulders, inhale, lengthen spine. Walk the hands all the way to the back of your mat, to the left foot. Turn the left toes to the back of your mat, come onto the ball of the right foot, and then bring the right knee onto the earth. And then as you feel steady, lift the torso, lift the arms, Anjane Asana. Now the block should already be um, to your left. So maybe just uh, position it so it's right next to the hip. Left hand will come down towards it. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, lean over to the left. Big stretch all the way down the right side of the body. On an inhale, lift back up to center. Right hand comes onto the earth. Left arm lifts to the sky. Twist towards the left leg. Really press the earth away with the right arm. Notice if you're sort of collapsing into the right shoulder. Find a sense of lift. And then go ahead and lift the torso once again. Anjane Asana. Hands come back behind you, interlace the fingers. Reach the fist package towards the right foot as you open the heart. And come back to that gentle glow right at heart center. And then releasing hands, bringing them onto the earth. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Come to the side of your mat once again, parallel the feet. This time, bring hands behind you, interlace the fingers as you drop crown of the head towards the earth, coming into a wide-legged forward fold with the bind. And then release hands onto the earth. Hands under shoulders, inhale, lengthen spine. Walk hands back to the front of your mat into a lunge. Plant the, plant the palms and step the right foot back. Come back into downward facing dog. Go ahead and bring the knees onto the earth, seat to feet, forehead to mat, child's pose. And then gently lifting the torso, coming up into a seat. If you have time for Shavasana um, at the end of this practice, please lie down and take Shavasana. Otherwise, join me in a tall seat. Sitting up nice and tall, rooting down through sitting bones. Inviting the eyelids to close here for a moment and again bringing that awareness right into the center of the heart. Notice if the glow that you envision there is a little bit brighter. If the space feels a bit more vibrant, a bit more open. And how can you lead from this space today? Go ahead and bring the palms to heart center and bow the head gently towards the hands. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you in this practice today. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for joining me here for this morning heart-opening practice. I will meet you right back here on the mat next time.